I yeah. love it. People be robbing you out your energy. They rob you. Every day. They'll try. Yeah. They'll try. See, I don't even use the word try either. You know what I'm saying? For real? I really don't. I got, like, so I, like, because for you, you're like, all these, everything you're saying, you, you were internalizing like. Yeah. So. My brother did this to me one day. Um, He was like, uh, <laughs> it was crazy, bro. Like, uh -huh. he tricked me into, you know, because I, I got baptized years ago. He tricked me into that. For real? I, was, I didn't regret it. Cause, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Course. I got baptized. I'm saved. And. You know what I'm saying? It's been my 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 um spiritual journey is being elevating every day. Yeah. But then he hit me with uh he was like, I said something about a try, bro. Yeah. Or something. He was like, bro, that's not a word. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm like, what do you mean? Like it is. Like he's like, bro, try to drop your phone. Yeah. I'm like, Dang. try to drop my phone. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You just it drops. drops. Yeah, you see what I'm yeah. saying? So it, you so didn't it's not try. try. Yeah, you, you did it or you didn't. You literally did it. Yeah. So it's like you either dropped the phone or you didn't. Yeah. So I, you know, I just my son and his uh his 11th birthday, I got him a, a piece, uh -huh. and I got it engraved with "Try is not a word." He he a ball player, so I don't Dang. want him saying that he tried to make it to the NBA. I don't want him saying. <laughs> yeah, because that. that is true. Because that's where all excuses stem yeah, from. Yeah, it kind of it kind of make room for excuses. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. yeah. Instead of just saying. like, man, look, I couldn't get it done. Yeah. And it helps you be more accountable for whatever's going on in life. What up, y'all? Welcome to Straight to the Bag, the show with real life fighters with real life wins. And I say that every episode, but I really like this episode is real because we really have a a true fighter, um, pro boxer making his debut soon. But beyond that, I just seen how much he's been hustling and getting to the bag for real. Like, um, and I know he's a father too. But go ahead and introduce yourself, bro. And yeah, my name is Keyshawn. Jenkins, but everybody call me KJ No Mercy. Um, you know, I'm born and raised in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, we just got big things coming, pro debut coming up March 4th. So that's what we focus on, getting prepared for right now. And okay, got you. What's um what's business looking like? Uh, business. Like, what do you do? I guess. Um, that don't business know. is going great. You know, with me just you know kind of learning and learning from lessons and stuff like that. But I got my own trucking company. You know, what I'm saying. Uh, got my own truck, semi. So that's what I do outside the gym, outside of boxing. I just, okay. you know, what I'm saying. So that's how you pay for the uh, pay for the family and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. That's how I take care of the family. You know, what I'm saying, it pays great money. That's crazy. How'd you get into that? I feel like most people don't know about that industry. Yeah, a lot of people don't really know. Some people will be interested, but then again, you know, you know, I yeah, yeah. You know, speak on something and people don't take it. But now nah, my uh, my pops, he had a. He had ended up making like an investment okay. um, on a couple of trucks and it just motivated me. We were just talking. Um, my sister was in the hospital. She had got diagnostic for, uh, diagnosed with, um, well, I think it was like type 2 diabetes or something like that. Dang. So we were just having like a, a real deep conversation and um, he just said something about it. I guess him and his homie was supposed to be going in together. Yeah. So I'm like, well, shoot, I'll get my CDLs, you know what I'm saying? So they were supposed to be time. drivers, like truck drivers. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yep. Gotcha. My dad driving right now. He got his own company too. Right? So here he here he knew how the business worked though, or he wasn't even uh, in the business. No, nah, I think he just took the risk on it. He he a risk taker. You yeah, know what I'm I think so I'll get that a lot it. from him. From real, like <laughs> yeah. I think his I think I was just born with it. But yeah, so yeah, once he made that, you know, what I'm saying approach with it and, and brung it up, I just like took it and ran with it. it was like, oh yeah, bet I'll get mine. So I ended up getting them, uh -huh. and then um. I think like it was like a year, a year or two later after I had my L's, I yeah. got my own truck and stuff. So, oh, so you've been in the game for a minute. Yeah, two thousand eighteen. Two thousand eighteen is when you started. Yep. Okay, so before that, what were you doing? Like just growing up. Uh, before that, um, I went to uh, college. I graduated with my MA, um, medical assistant in um, oh, building and real? coding. Okay. So yeah, I was big in the health. You know what I'm saying? Healthcare mm -hmm. system. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or whatever. Like. That was really like a goal of mine. Like boxing wasn't even a goal. Or it was For always real? something I wanted to do. But you know, they, you know, your parents would teach you, uh, you know, go to school. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Get your exactly. education, Be get smart. your degree. <laughs> so that's what I, you know, I did end up doing that. You know, after yeah. I had my first son, um, I ended up going to uh to healthcare, like, to medical school. So that you didn't want to stay like in that field. I mean, I don't know anything about it, but I, I feel like you can make pretty good money. Or... Yeah, it's, it's it's good money in it for those people that that. That tend to want to have that type of job, you know. Right. What I'm saying once I did get into that field, um, it was it, it, I love it. I still love it. You know, what I'm saying I feel like mm -hmm. God, I still have a, a mission for me to kind of like do something with do, do something with it. Yeah, for okay. sure. 
Um, but it definitely was just like kind of like a, uh, I want to say like a inconvenience to boxing or whatever. Yeah. But it kind of was because I was doing like third shift and then it was 12 hours of shift. Okay, so I got it was you. So kind of like, dang, like I'll be home, go to work, and I'll be sleep down there during yeah. the whole day. You know what I'm saying? And then you can't and even the train next day, Yeah, so it's kind of tough. Um, but once I got my L's, obviously, you know what I'm saying, the money, it takes me to a different tax bracket. Right. So, and it just opened up my uh, my schedule. So okay, got I mean. you. Um, when did you start boxing though? Uh, I started boxing um like it's two thousand at the end of two thousand fifteen, two thousand sixteen is when it really like got serious. You remember how old you were? Yeah, I was. I started like they won't believe this, <laughs> but I started like like twenty four, twenty five. Dang, what? Yeah, everybody Dang. be thinking that I've been doing it for a while, but yeah, no, nah, it's exactly. only been like five years for real. Damn, and that's in the boxing community. That's kind of late. Cause yeah, like some kids yeah, been doing it since they were three and four. Yeah, that's like, why they say it's late because everybody kind of started like six super and they young, start competing yeah. at eight, and then right. they just go through the amateur program and stuff. So, so how what kind of mindset you have starting at twenty five? Like you were like, I want to uh, be a champ, or you just yeah, like, like I just I I just knew that uh this was one of those sports that you can put in whatever you put in, you can mm -hmm. get out of it. Like right, you can't you can't walk on on college basketball team and that go is play D one, bro. Like yeah, you're not yeah. going if you ain't played in high school, AU, you're not about to walk to Duke University and start. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Or you're not going to just walk to the NBA tryouts mm -hmm. and, and and be on the team. You know. So yeah, this is one of those sports that just that this whatever you put in, you yeah. can get out of it. Yes. and that's what it was for me. That is very true. Um, yeah, this sport. I see, yeah, I mean, we hear stories all the time, but people that start late and might become a pro in a year and champ and win a belt, like, but. Yeah. So I guess training. Where are you training out of? Training here. I train here. Self made. Okay. Uh, Ryan Dickey. Okay, got Ryan you. Dickey, yeah. So you've been doing that. So you've been an amateur since then, or when did you have your uh, first fight? My first fight was in 2015. It was at the fair. You know what I'm saying? Um, you remember how long you were training since before you had that? Oh uh, yeah, it wasn't really training like that. <laughs> I just really, I just really took it like as in like, let me see if this is for me or not. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like. Cause a lot of people they'd be scared or they first fight exactly. or whatever. So it was just I started training a little bit. I probably say like a month or two before the fair. Damn. Um, and then you, you know my old my old coach was like, "You want to fight the fair?" I'm like, uh -huh. "Yeah, I want to fight the fair." Like yeah. I didn't want to turn down the opportunity. So once that happened, you know I lost my first fight. Obviously, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying due to the lack of experience and just knowing and stuff like that. Right. But uh. After that, I fell in love with it. And I went For on real? Spree, yeah, I went on a knockout spree. Dang, that you know lesson made you it made just, you love yeah, it. <laughs> yeah, even though I already had interest in it, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. my little cousin Shondell Bryan, he the one like motivated me to mm -hmm. um, to do so. So okay. once he passed away, that's when I took it and ran with it. And then after that first fight, uh -huh. it was on. Like I just it just turned me up. Start training harder. Yeah. Like it just yeah. it just starts showing that every, what you put in it, is it, what you get out. Right. <laughs> so what like something clicked for you because you know most people like will try things and like they might feel motivated for a little bit because like they took an l or whatever but like for you like what was your like just like this is like this is it no um, other questions no plan b because of the love bro yeah like i think it's the love of it like the the to know that you lost a fight fair and square and you can't do nothing about it but go back mm. home and, and and train harder and get better mm -hmm. that's the that's the love i got like you know what i'm saying i yeah, can take I the you. l and won't go cry about something or i mean that's in life in general right you know i'll take an l in life or something like that i don't go cry about it. I just figure another way out to right to, to capitalize off of that and elevate off of it or you know, just just let it be what it is. Move yeah. on. You know what I'm saying. Learn from it, and, mm -hmm. and life goes on. You know what I'm saying. So I think you know, like they said on Friday. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying. When yeah. he took the gun from him, and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you know, you, you live to fight another day. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying. So that kind of saying kind of just stay with my head, just yeah. in life in general. So okay, Man, uh, I like it, that. It didn't discourage me after the loss. Uh, it made me just go harder. Um, and in the gym and stuff like that. So. When was the uh, next fight after that? You remember? Uh, the next fight, I, that's when I went try, train for a whole year. I got my re, well, my uh, I got my revenge the next Dang. following year at the fair. And then after Dang. that, I went to nationals. And it was just uh, you just went there. for a sprint after that next yeah, one. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I went like I went like four knockouts in a row. Then I went to nationals. Won my first nationals down there in Atlanta, Georgia. Dang, that's what's up. Um. 
Then we went to uh, Kiss Me, Florida for the national championship that November. So the fair was in the summer, like July or August. Whoa, what? Yeah, it was all. So within six months, you were like at nationals. Yeah, I was at nationals in like within six months. After the fair that for like from August to December. Yeah. It was all fights. Like, What year was that? 2016. 2016. Okay. Dang, that was crazy. Y'all were busy that year. Yeah. Yeah, I was I was determined, man. I would get on mm-hmm. I would get on USA Boxing website and mm-hmm. put my own schedule together and everything. I was just oh, seeing for real? certain like things. you would line up your own fights. Yeah, I was like, yeah, because my old coach mindset wasn't on the level that I was on. He made right. new what I was, you know, he made new boxing like because I was new at it, so he kind of knew mm-hmm. things about boxing. But once yeah. I got in and I started seeing, you know, certain things, I started just applying pressure all around the board from the gotcha. finding fights from uh, scheduling the sparring with yeah. people around the city or people outside the city, I just start taking it to the next level with it. Like, you did that all yourself. So. Yeah, like nobody Man, told me or forced as, me or encouraged me or nothing. I just felt like dope. that's what it takes for you to to get what you want out of it. You gotta, you know, what I'm saying? <laughs> out of life. Period. Yeah, period. Yeah, because that's that's a uh, straight like boss mindset for real. Like, right. just delegate what you need to get done and figure a way out. Yeah. But um, where do you think you got that mindset from? I don't know, man. You think it was, your, think it was I your dad? Your... I think it was my dad, but I, my dad didn't really raise me. Like mm, I was, okay, my, gotcha. my dad wasn't in my life. My, I ain't, I ain't linked with my dad until like I was like twenty two. Like, you know I'm saying, yeah. So like, it... I kind of had like a little uh, setback in life. You know, uh-huh. what I'm saying like a little, like a little nervous breakdown type of thing. Uh-huh. And um, I called my dad, and I was just like, man, I like yo, I need your help. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I went to go stay with him for like a year. And I was like twenty two or something like that. Um, and that was like the first time I ever really been around him, but that's when I start seeing. Him. I'm like, man, I see where I get a lot of this stuff from that I. That the so way you I think am. it could be genetic? I'm saying, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I think so because, I mean, on my mom's side of the family, they all think I'm this, that, and the third. You know what I'm oh, saying? I'm okay, different. I'm just the eyeball. I'm the, I'm the black sheep in my mom's family. You know what I'm saying? So man, that's why I. Yeah, um, it's crazy. It's wild to me because I can relate to that like a hundred percent. Wow. Like I didn't um. Well, my dad lives up here in Columbus, but I'm from Atlanta with my mom. And okay. down there, they think I'm like, they don't even want to touch me. They just, like, he's just bad. Like, don't stay around him. Don't do nothing with yeah. him. Like, um, then then I moved up here and I just, like, I just see how he walks, how he talks. Like, I'm like, man, that is that is weird. Like, this man did not raise me a single day. But yeah, you can I'm, see. Yeah, I can see yeah, myself. It's weird, bro. Like, he a risk, my dad a risk taken. I just think, you know, I think it's just a lot of things that come from him. And I think... When I used to be questioning myself, like, man, why I think like this? Like, mm-hmm. when my mom used to always say, like, everybody don't think like you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody don't think the same. So I used to be like, okay, well, some of this stuff is common sense. Yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, saying? exactly. So it's it's like, I don't sense, get it. Like, you feel me? It makes sense to me. Yeah. It makes sense to a lot of other, you know what I'm saying, people that's like right. on the same type of level that want things out of life. You know what, yeah. what I'm saying? Want more out of life. Want to want financially freedom, freedom mentally, physically. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think, you know what I mean? And like I said, once I've been around my dad, I started seeing like, dang, like, see where I get a lot of this stuff from. You know I mean? So that that um, do I have a hard time getting that relationship together with your dad? Or yeah, it's still tough. You know what I'm saying? It's still, still kind of weird. Yeah, it's still kind of weird because you know I became my own man in a way, and then the man that he is, I'm not that man. You know, yeah. when it comes to fatherhood, you know, right. I'm serious about my fatherhood. Like yeah, I don't yeah. play around. I see with that. It. You know what I'm saying? Like, I bring my kids to jail. I don't let that stop me. I don't let fatherhood stop me from from being great and I show my kids how to get it, you know what I'm saying, make those yeah. sacrifices and stuff. But, you know, that's that's one of the main things that me and him is different. Like he ain't right. like that. You know what I mean? He 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 uh, he'll do what he can, but yeah. I'm dying for mine. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. I'm just different. I feel that. You feel me? So how many kids you got now? I got three sons, three kings, Dang. man. Yeah. That sounds- I guess it's crazy, man, because <laughs> I want a girl so bad because yeah. I just need that 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 female version of me or whatever mm-hmm. just to kind of you know, help me become more of a man, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Just better so and just learn how to, you know, deal and 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 raise, you know, a daughter and stuff like yeah. that. Cause, you know, boys is they kinda typically easy and Yeah, way. like you just like you yeah, can understand right. where they're coming from. I understand from. them more. So it's just like I just wanna understand fatherhood more and I just yeah, think yeah. that that part of make you know what I'm saying, make it different. But yeah, I got three sons, three kings, man. I'm proud That's of dope. and you know, I'm just happy that they that they have the father that they got because I ain't gonna let them down. You know? Yeah, I, I ain't love that. Be there, 100. percent So how did you um? So started starting your, that trucking thing. How how many of them were born? Just 
You didn't have any of them yet? Yeah, I have my my, uh, my two oldest was born. Your two oldest, you already yeah. had two sons before yeah, you before even. Before I started my trucking, yeah. So how did you make that work out? Like they was with me, bro. Just through all of it. Yeah, they was with me. My, I was, I was, I was actually homeschooling my my oldest son for the first two years of me driving. Dang. Homeschooling them. So uh, what? You take him on the road with you? Yep, or? and yeah, he'd go on the road with me. Like we'd like, cause I would start early in the morning. Yeah. So we'd go on the road with me. Then we'd take a lunch break. He'd hop on the computer, get mm -hmm. the Wi Fi in the truck. You know what I'm saying? Stuff okay. like that. I got you. He'd hop on the computer, knock his stuff out, and go home, finish it up. Take him Man. to the gym because he, he played ball. He 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 amazing at basketball. So, you know, it, it was working. You know, just it's a sacrifice, bro. That that's wild. So yeah. you guys uh so like truck drivers, people that don't know, like y'all have to sleep in your trucks or Nah, I'm home every day. Like it's this different situation for everybody. Like you can okay. have you could be a driver, you could be an owner operator. I'm an owner operator. Okay, gotcha. You know what I'm saying? Well, I own my own truck. So I you own the schedule. truck and the business. Yeah, and the, yeah. Okay. So I could do whatever I want. Like right now, like I could either be on the road right now uh -huh. or I can be where I'm at right now. You know, that's my choice. Jobs come up that fast? Like yeah, just, we got a low we got like, a low board like social media. Okay. It's like So you just hop on and you just media. accept one or Yeah, I just thumb through and figure out which one I want. Pick yeah. it, call them, see I must say pen. Yeah. Book it. Dang. Just like that easy. You think there's a lot of money left in that uh, industry? Yeah, it's six figures, man. You, you, easy, you know, easy. Um, it's six figures, easy. And then Dang. you multiply your trucks, or you multiply your fleet, or you get a, other people mm -hmm. that want to be in a business with you, or something like that. Right. It's just so that's how you build It's just like kind of like real estate. You know what I'm saying? You get your right. first door, your first house. You make this much off of it. You get another door times yeah. two. You know what I'm saying? And you just like, keep just adding. Keep, keep going. Dang. So, um. You you not hiring no one out yet to drive your truck? Or? Yeah, like uh, I got two potential uh drivers that's gonna eventually come through. You know, what I'm saying okay. should be purchasing another truck right here soon. Like even probably, with the prices crazy, like that. Yeah, right they didn't jumped up. Like but you still couple grabbing months, them? Yeah, a couple months ago, man, they was cheaper than what they is now. They didn't they didn't jump skyrocket. So I just gotta find the best the best price. Might have to go private seller or yeah. something like that just to get. Something that just need TLC, fix it up a little bit, put some money into it, and get it on the road. I got you. Um, what's the hardest part about that business? You think? Uh, the hardest part of it is really ain't hard. I think just you know the maintenance part. Something can go wrong. Okay. You can't figure it out by yourself, or the the you know you take your truck to the shop. Mm -hmm. Your truck sit down. Yeah. You ain't making no money. That's that the is way true. Thing. Um, you ever had a low part like low? time in that business where you like weren't making money or yeah my, i didn't double maintenance like my truck was my truck was just down and these uh went down like in november you know through COVID. yeah a lot of things is on back order so one of my parts that i needed like it was like thousands and thousands of truckers looking for the same part bro so i'm calling just, canada mexico what yeah like for the part couldn't find it damn and my truck was down for like a month bro it just put me behind on bills and stuff like that yeah. so i had to you know what damn, saying, that's scary things yeah. out like you know what i mean but they ended up getting it fixed you know what i'm saying and it was i think it was god like because it was nowhere to be found, and then that's what I'm gonna say. Thousands, like thousands. I'm I mean, talking that means about there's definitely more that more, need it. Yeah, yeah. Like for real, there's a lot of people that still don't have the part. Like yeah. the only reason why I ended up getting it was because Freightliner had a truck that they wasn't using or selling. Yeah, and it had the part in it, and you just took it so out. They of took it. it out of there and sold it to Dang. me as a used part, bro. I feel like it was God, bro, because He bro, know what I'm doing. That is God for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he didn't want me to lose my business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It was just crazy. Like I was. You I felt was like it could have came to that. Huh? You felt like it could have came to that if you were yeah, down for yeah, like two months? Yeah, yeah, because I mean, it's still not in stock. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. So, so what like, am I going to do? Like, that's your one truck. So yeah, yeah that's, like, my, okay. that's my first truck, only yeah. truck. So I would you know, I'm, like I said, I'm planning on purchasing another one. So I would right. have had to, you know, wait in on right. that truck to come or go work yeah. somewhere else for the for the time being. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I got you. And something like that, you know? So how many years you been an owner-operator now? Uh, It'd be two years in July. Two years. Okay. Yep. So how was year one for you? you year remember? one was was cool. First winter with my own truck, went through some stuff, but you bought it in the fall. I uh, bought it in July. In July, okay. Yep. So July. how fast you have it up and going, like right uh, away? Yeah, it was. It was as soon as I drove back because I flew out to Kansas to go get it. Drove okay. back. You know what I'm saying? Took your first road. Um, I think like a week got got the road in. You know okay. What I'm stuff like that. So. But yeah, the first year was just a learning experience of just having that responsibility 24 mm -hmm. 7 is yours. You're responsible for everything right. and stuff like that. So when stuff go wrong, just learning how to save and just be 
responsible more. Right, because truck parts are crazy. Like yeah, it's, man, it's like, my bumper. I just caught about not my bumper, but my uh <laughs> my grill eight hundred, huh? bro. Eight hundred. Eight hundred for the grill, bro. What? Like, I was like, man, I'm putting a bungee cord on it. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll get it later. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like it ain't stopping though, me man. from making no money. But it's still eight hundred for the grill. So you think trucking crazy. business is big cash flow? Yeah. Like easy? I, if you well, anything, not you big, can't really easy compare nothing too much yeah. to real estate besides like trucking or like cryptocurrency. Those are like the only two things that kinda can For real that are flow. on that kind of return? Yeah, that's on that kind of return. Dang. Cause you know real estate is time consuming, you know. What right. I'm oh yeah, for sure. So it's like this is like time consuming, but you still can get that money ASAP. in that same month, yeah. same mm. type of dollar figure, you know what right, I'm saying, right. in that same month in a way, you know what I mean? Dang. It all depends on how long that takes for you to get the house for sale or closing right. and stuff like that, but the truck's moving every day, seven days a week. Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's nonstop. It's so, nonstop. how many hours do you think you spend on the road when you like going for a trip? Uh, I'll be having, I mean, it's a 14 hour work clock, so. Yeah, you know, I'll Dang. be getting like two or three loads a day. I'll still make it to the gym though every, every two or three, three loads day. in a fourteen hour day. Mm -hmm. Damn, that's a lot of yeah, driving. Yeah, I stay here in the city though. I don't go. I don't drive nowhere. I don't really have to leave Columbus. Oh, for real? You just drive to different parts of Columbus? Yeah, like the farthest I go is Ainesville, right back oh, West okay. Jefferson, okay, right that's back. That's not too bad. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was thinking. I don't you know, leave like Ohio. State. I don't know why. I don't leave Ohio because the gas prices is too high, and I and I'm good at math. I love it. So yeah, yeah. I love math so much. I, my numbers gotta add up. If it don't add up, I'm not doing it. You know what I'm saying? You always adding the numbers up before yeah, I'm you make it. Always adding the numbers up. I got gotcha. to, bro, because you know you can't I mean, take back the miles. You can't take back the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. then you feel me? It's all about the dollar figure that they paying. So I mean, yeah, honestly, that's I think that's why uh, business is easy to fighters because fighting is. Even if you do the reps and stuff, it's still unpredictable. Yeah, but it's always unpredictable. In business, if you do the numbers right, you can like estimate the outcome every time. Right. And that was a part of my whole plan was to make sure that I had my business set before I turned pro because I didn't want to be sitting here just feeding and, and living off of you know fight money and stuff yeah. like that. I want to be able to be set where mm -hmm. I can train comfortable fight comfortable and okay. i just love it I just have fun i'm Man, gonna be smiling i'm gonna be smiling bro too yeah, that's that's super smart bro. that's exactly why i started this podcast because right. too many fighters think it's part of the it's part of like, you have to do it so yeah. you have to struggle before you like when you fight yeah, yeah. <laughs> i feel like that's no, what I make you, you take a lot of risk you know what i'm saying yeah um and put you in danger bro you take a fight sure. that you shouldn't have to take or you shouldn't take early because you need the money i ain't in that position yeah and if you have I'm, a family you, know, you can't do that to your yeah family. so it's just like you know with my promoter mm -hmm. he knows what i'm doing you know mm -hmm. he knows my business and he's proud of that too because he know that i'm not just banking off of you know that uh that fight money, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm, 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 I'm living good, and then you know when it's fight time, I get to grind, yeah. I get to recover at the highest, you know, potential at the, yeah. one of the dopest spots. You know, I get to, you know, what I'm saying, afford, yeah, yeah. I get to afford what boxers can't afford. You know what I'm saying? When it comes like Shoot, the recovery even, training and stuff like that. Yeah, you might beat that fight money. Um, oh, at the yeah. top. Like. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I, I make more than, you know what I'm saying, than most boxers anyway, you know what I'm saying? So especially at this beginning level? Especially pros? at this beginning level, yeah. like, you feel me? So it ain't even like, I mean, I'm so happy about it, I'll fight for mm -hmm. free, bro, you know what I'm saying? But it's just unfortunate that yeah. I got, I'm just blessed with the deal I got, Yeah. and you know, I'm here to just just do it, just take it up to That's the next up. level. That's it. All right, so we're doing good, making good money, but you a boxer, like, and people that have never boxed might not know, but... Anyone that has fought knows, like, you got to be damn near crazy to go in there just trying to, like, get your head beat. Like, be willing to or take that risk. Um, how do you stay hungry, though? Like, hungry enough to fight or train at that level? Um, I mean, it, and this may be cliche to a lot of people, but mm -hmm. you always facing your doubts and your own fears. And then you go to people's doubts and their fear. You got people that doubt you, that don't think you're going to be great. Then you got these doubts where it's like, man, am I going to be great? Oh, because then, then you, you start, have these fears yeah, you or your own hearing. fear. Like, man, like, is it going to happen this way? Do you got other people's fear? Like, yeah, he, he don't like, he's going to happen this way. And yeah. then it's just, it's just, just greatness. Like, I'm striving for greatness. Like, and everything. I, yeah, everything. Like, so it's just like, you know, as I think about a lot of people that's great, you know, when you look at like 
let's use Rick Ross for an example. You know, he's a rapper, he's a business owner. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's a franchise owner. For he's real. into all these things. Dude just bought a bull, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I did see that. That's, it's just that crazy. crazy. So, I mean, just think about breeding bulls, bro. It don't even like, make sense. Like, just, he's just doing everything. It don't everything. make sense, yeah. but it make a lot of sense, sense to people him. that's doing it. Yeah, you feel exactly. What I'm saying? To where it's just like, uh, you going to ask Rick Ross, how you stay <laughs> hungry, bro? You're already rich. You feel yeah. me? What makes you want more money? Mm. And it's his greatness, and then history and legacy, bro. When okay. you die, you want to be able to leave whatever you created or you're yeah. you're doing. So with boxing, you know, like me and my coach talk about it all the time. Like, yeah, we are gonna end up with our own gym. I'll be thinking about it. I, it still ain't hit my head, but it's just yeah. like, dang, like eventually, you know what I'm saying? It will be because of the yeah. science and the stuff that we feed in. Yeah, it's gonna trickle down to the next generation coming up. So right. it, that's just what it is. It's just greatness and legacy, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I'm saying? It's keeping so me hungry. um. You're talking about Ryan, right? Yeah. Okay. Ryan, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, Ryan was, I don't even remember what episode it was. I think he was early on, like three, but he was, I already know when he says it, I know he can see it. Yeah. Like he's one of those people that just has the vision right. for real. Cause like the way he makes things happen is like the only way you can do that is if you just seen that before. Like, yeah. Definitely. But, that's um, how I think that's what made our relationship so tight. Cause once man, I that's came, because y'all the same. Yeah, it was like I was dealing with somebody that didn't have the vision. Yeah, or didn't have the 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 enthusiasm. You know what I'm saying? Right. When I met Ryan in 2018, when Self Made first opened. Yeah. And I booked my first session and stuff, and we we wasn't even talking about none of this stuff. We was just training. So he seen yeah. my vision in in my training and in my skill set. Right. I seen it in his training, his skill set. Then once we start talking about yeah the boxing community and what we can do, yeah. Rising Stars Boxing was created. Now we got a whole team and we on our sixth show, June 4th. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's been, been going great. Like it's stuff. been going great. And it's so crazy because all it boils down to a vision. Like you just said, he has yeah. a vision, he has that that mo- motivation yeah. and that hunger. Yep. And I do too, to where it's just like it just came together, man. And now we just got a, a beautiful platform. And, yeah. and we just, you know, we got something that just not gonna stop, bro. Right. I mean, I love that. Um, what you, what do y'all think is next? Like What's the rest of the vision look like? Uh, like I was saying, man, it, you know, I don't want to speak too much, but I mean, the gym is yeah, the most yeah. probably possible, you know, yeah. not later down the road. Yeah. You know, uh, but just getting this, getting our amateur program going, getting me flowing, you know, because mm. I'm his first pro, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So it's just first things for everything. You know, but I don't have no doubts with God or all things is possible. And then when you got a strong team, yep. you know. It, all things is possible when, with God. So it's just like, yeah. ain't no failure in it, for real, for real. All yeah, you can do is just saying. see, succeed, and just learn our lessons from it. Uh-huh. And, you know, and just keep building. But um, I think for sure, I know for sure, is just turning our, um, turning the, um, the boxing event that we have, Rising Stars Boxing yeah. event, into a, a, a tournament. You know what I'm saying? Three for day real. tournament, start hosting that. Okay. Getting the fighters that said, you know, stay here in, in some of our beautiful hotels we got here in the yeah, city. Yeah. And just start hosting it and just make it into a bigger. Man, bigger, I love that. Y'all you know, better blow the city up. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> already it. gone crazy, man. I mean, yeah. like, we, it, every show has been just getting better and it's better, better, better. Filling up, filling up, filling up. So it is going The Competition up, like, is getting better. The, yeah. the matching is getting intense. I mean, man, that's, there's so many, the, uh, like facets to that that have to run together to make that happen. Like, yeah. yeah. How did y'all do the first one? You remember or? Um, it was at the same location. You know, it started off with just like the idea of just just y'all it. though. Um, yeah, and then um, we had we have our volunteers. You know, a couple of the peers that's here in the gym that okay. kind of help. You know, what I'm saying along with some of the people that um that Ryan um have a relationship with and stuff like that. Yep. You know, I mean, at that time, I was just more in, you know, in the fighter position. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But now I'm, you know, on the pro side, so I do got more time to yeah. you know, contribute to it a little okay. bit more. Okay. Man, that's dope. Yeah, I'm excited to see what y'all do because he's pretty active with that. So yeah. I've seen it like the end of last year, really, y'all were like catching some momentum and having fights. So you like fight on those shows too and stuff? Yeah, I fought on them. I uh, fought, you know, on the first one, the okay. second one. Uh, I don't think I fought on the third one. Yeah, you know, I don't think I, I didn't fight on the third one. That's when we made that transition on okay. on, on turning pro. Um, but yeah, just starting it off, and okay. then now we 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 have we have what we um uh, what we desire. So um, how many amateur fights did you end up having over those? I ended up series? having twenty over 20? the time frame, which you know it's kind of um. It ain't bad, you know, because yeah. I stayed training. I stayed just, you know, with the same yeah, mentality. Yeah. 
but it was just more of just bad on on the coaching side because it's just you know what Ryan doing right now. You yeah. know, like one of my gym mates, Eric. He 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 became open in his first year, bro. You know what I'm saying? Really, Which is ten fights plus plus ten fights. So after ten fights, you become open as you're considered as elite. Right. So my first year of fighting boxing, it wasn't that way. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's now he's what, just getting better and better. Yeah. So that's that's what makes it you know um, more of like I would say uh, more opportunities is being presented. You know. Okay. What I'm saying? Just be just by saying that, you know. Um, yeah. Because a lot of people will be like, dang, you know how long you been amateur and stuff like that. Uh-huh. And I'll say why, you know, I understand why, you know, so yeah, due yeah. to the team and the coaching staff. But like I said, once I met Ryan, you know, and we clicked and stuff like that, I seen that we had similar visions. Yeah. And now, you know, he I, don't, I don't have no doubts, bro. He knows None. how yeah, he knows how to make a, a vision come to life. So yeah. I'm not I'm not I'm just excited to see where y'all going. But um so when did you decide though, like what was that? time you just like i'm ready to be a pro did you know or you just you just jump like and figure it yeah, out yeah I, I mean i kind of knew like the time is just like i said i wanted to make sure my business was right for okay. one and then my staff like you know me and ryan we started off with just private sessions at first yep. so i was coming sub made like twice a week on tuesdays and thursdays uh-huh. and then um once i converted to full time start seeing how the training start changing my body like, uh-huh. I, it's like i'm in shape all year round bro I got, yeah yeah uh, my sure. ass is busting all year round bro like it's just crazy you have like, to <laughs> i just lost 11 pounds bro on a six mile run the other day that's crazy i mean i know in it's one true. hour bro. bro i believe it yeah for how skinny you are bro that's <laughs> man that's but a lot of people can't do that they don't even believe it they think i'm lying or something they don't even you know, know what that feel they don't like. even know what it feel like and i wasn't weak Want no cramps, really? not no muscle spasms or none of that. Like, why do you crazy. think that was? Because I know it's what that feels like. That, that's crazy. It's just the way that my body is, you know. And I'm and I'm vegan too, so you know I don't eat animals. You know what I'm saying? So how long you been vegan? Uh, it's been five years. It'd be five years this year. Damn, damn. Yeah. So how'd you get started on that? Like that was uh, now. It's a crazy story, bro. And this and this is gonna freak everybody out because <laughs> they like, wow, this is crazy just to hear it. So. One day, you know, my my second son, Connor, uh-huh. I went to the store to go get him some milk, bro. Yeah. And they didn't have no Similac. And it just made me mad. Yeah. Because it's just like, I know they got it in the back. Like, yeah, it's yeah. like, why ain't restocking this knowing that people are hungry? You know what I'm saying? Right. Especially babies. Yeah, like exactly. So once I seen that they ain't had no milk in stock, I'm like, man, F this. I'm going to go get this, this almond milk. And he was six, yeah. seven months, bro, when I did Dang. that. Once I transitioned on him to almond milk, that's when I just went cold for turkey for real. I swear. But you didn't see no side effects from him having that. None, nothing. No, no. Because people none. would be like, no, nah, that's that's sideways. You can't. That's yeah. gonna mess him up or whatever. Yeah, like, but I mean, that's what they want us to think. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? That's what they want us, that's what they want us to you. think. You know what I'm saying? Instead yeah. of they they even was trying not trying, but they wanted to take they wanted almond milk to take milk off of the almond and just call it almond wow. something. I yeah, don't know. Yeah. But it was down there like a lawsuit going on Dang. saying it's not milk because it ain't milk from a cow or whatever. Wow. It's so crazy, bro. Like they still have to have that word on it yeah, just to keep that, exactly. keep that trigger there. So, you know, that's how it started for me. You know what I'm saying? I even got it tattered and everything. I ain't yeah. going back ever. No, the only I, thing I, I that. wear that's not vegan is clothes, you know what I'm saying? And <laughs> eventually I'll probably end up investing into something like that. You know what I'm saying? Exactly, but a whole, whole thing around it. Yeah, something. But it's definitely like. I'm never going back. I'm never eating no meat. That's crazy. So it started with your son, just because yeah. like started then, with that. That's how it started. But for you and your head, it clicked like you're like, oh, it's because he's not drinking dairy products or it. It was because that's just, a big shift. Bro. It is a big no, shift. Like some people bro. go no dairy, but not like bro, yeah, vegan. Like. Yeah, it was a it was a quick shift, and then I mean, it fought, and then following up with that, I ended up watching What the Health, which is like a, oh, okay. a movie on I've Netflix. Seen that, yeah, and it and it just shows you like it just it just educates you bro oh, yeah, just like real. how you know i mean we already see how we are con- controlled to a certain extent yeah you know what i'm saying i won't say i'm controlled but yep. the, how they control the meat how they control society you know this 100%. is what they want you know what i'm saying this is the sickness but i the see it all the time the, food, man. the super the bowl food. yeah that's a whole event that's a whole thing for restaurant industry like that's mm-hmm. big for them right um, but yeah, I'm, just think I'm about it though. You. Like, just think about it, bro. Like, if everybody stopped eating what we don't supposed to eat, yeah. just think about how much the world would change. Man, there'd be a lot less animal cruelty. That's for sure. Like, for sure. 
Yeah, for sure, for sure. What's the uh, biggest change you've seen since being vegan? Uh, the my body, like the way I feel. I have to be like dead tired. Like I, I have to be dozing off to be like, all right, it's yeah. time for bed. Yeah, because I have so much energy, bro. It'd be yeah. crazy. Like I, I could be up. And I'll be uh, I'll be in a truck, bro, for ten hours and come to the gym, spar, and that's why it don't sound. That's why it's not crazy to you, I guess. So I mean, that's why I mean I know it is because I I did the vegan thing for about a month and mm -hmm. yeah, my energy levels didn't even fluctuate a little bit. Like uh -huh. I was just I was up, I was up, or I went to go sleep, I was like sleep, mm -hmm. and then yeah, it was crazy. And then um, I think one of the biggest changes I seen was when I did no sugar, but obviously you can't do no sugar like zero, but I got yeah. pretty close to nothing like. And my energy levels were like up, up. Yeah, it's so crazy. I know what I know it's, what that diet does to yeah, your life. It's high. It's high to where yeah. like I, only thing that we would do like because it's vegan pieces places around right. here all the time. That's that's by it. If I don't go vegan with the pizza or something like that, yeah, I just order some like you know typical, and that's about it. You, you know ever crave anything? Nah, shrimp used to be my favorite, bro. Yeah, I don't yeah, never like you have to have it. it. Never. Damn, I ain't never thought about shrimp since I turned vegan, bro. Never came to my mind. Never been like, man, I gotta have it. I want. I ain't never thought about it. It didn't feel like uh, that with anything when you first started though. Like that first month. Nah, it was just more like... of that. I was just motivated, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. It was just motivated to just like stick to. Cause I, to be honest with you, I'm the type of person I don't like reneging. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, we, that word comes from playing spades, you know what I'm saying? When you yeah. can't renege because you yeah. gotta give all your books up. Or, I got you know you. Saying, or it's game or whatever. How everybody rules is a little different, but we know that we can't renege in, in, in spades. Yeah. So I take that, you know what I'm saying, and put it in life. I don't wanna renege. If I tell you I'm gonna show up, I see what you Something saying. has to happen for me mm. to reschedule it, bro. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Or we're gonna have to come with a better date because something's going on, but I'm not into reneging yeah. what I promise or something or what I have in my mind. Like, I Dang. can't do it. It's just tough. You that's, know what I'm saying? That's a bar, man. That's uh, that's something I think everyone can do with something in their life. Yeah, for sure. Just like, take things that they're like, man, they don't want to waver on. They don't want to, um, they're just solid on this. Like, right. But yeah, a lot of people And that's what makes that people one. hard to understand me because I don't really need, like, you know, it's like, you know, just, just like relationships, you know, you yep. outgrow certain people yeah. and then they don't understand why you're. It's not that we're not cool. It's just yeah. we're not in the same thing. I don't eat what you eat. Yeah. I don't be what you be. Yeah. So it's hard for us to like we link. Can't, we you know can't relate. Saying? Yeah. You got to be in no proximity to get close. You got to either be one of the solid or let's link them <laughs> yeah. over here. You or, or, or you're you know, yeah. or you, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. you already like that. Or you found somewhere like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, it's this new spot. Or let me come train with you. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. I got a lot of homies, you know what I'm saying, from the neighborhood that just want to come train. They just want to come. Get the bag and stuff it. like that. And yeah. I be telling them, like, man, come help me practice on my defense, man. Yeah. I, ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hit you. I'm just gonna work yeah. on just catching, just feeling, getting touch, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. With a person that's not boxing. You know what I right. mean? That that helps me get better. But you know, they say it and, and, and really don't show up or yeah. something. But yeah, that's just how my life is, man. I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I've been meeting a lot of other people. My life has just been growing. I'm starting to realize as much as as I'm starting to realize myself more, I'm starting to understand myself. Get yeah. To, Feel myself and man, that's like you know, protecting the energy too. You know, what I mean? love it. People be robbing you out your energy, they rob you every day. They'll try, yeah, they'll try. See, I don't even use the word try either. You know, what I'm saying for real, I really don't. Like, I like, so like, because for you, you're like all these everything you're saying, you you were internalizing, like, yeah. So, my brother did this to me one day. Um, he was like, uh, <laughs> it was crazy, bro. Uh -huh. Like, he tricked me into you know, because I, I got baptized years ago, he tricked me into that. For real? I, was, I didn't regret it because, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, I got baptized, I'm saved, and, you know what I'm saying, it's been, my my, my um, spiritual journey is being elevating every day. Yeah. But then he hit me with, uh, he was like, I said something about try, bro, yeah. or something. And he was like, bro, that's not a word. Like, you know what I'm saying? He's like, <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Like, it is. Like, he's like, bro, try to drop your phone. Yeah. I'm like, Dang. try to drop my phone. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. You just it drops. drops. You yeah, see what I'm yeah. saying? So it, you so didn't it's not try. try. Yeah, you, you did it or you didn't. You do literally it. did it. So yeah. it's like you either dropped the phone or you didn't. Yeah. So I, you know, I just my son on his uh his 11th birthday, I got him a, a piece, uh -huh. and I got it engraved with "Try is not a word." He he a ball player, so Dang. I don't want him saying that he tried to make it to the NBA. I don't want him saying. Yeah, because that. that is true. Because that's where all excuses stem yeah, from. Yeah, kind of it kind of make room for excuses. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm yeah. Saying? Instead of just like, man, look, I couldn't get it done. Yeah. And it helps you be more accountable for whatever's going on in life. Because then I was like, it's done. Yeah. You figure out the solution. Then you figure it out. Move on. 
simple. That's dope. That's that just dope. helps you mentally. It, it just it's a powerful it's a powerful thing. Yeah, I, mean, I even got some of the gym mates on it. Like, shit, you, know you just got me on it. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm not saying? saying that shit. No hey, more. the podcast gonna be on it in a minute. Y'all gonna Hell be yeah. like, hey, we ain't trying nothing. We doing everything we put our mind to. You feel me? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's no, lit. I love that make, because it make you go hard too, bro. Mm -hmm. Like it just I, like, I feel it man. already because um. Yeah, now that I, I, I hear that, now it's just certain things are popping up in my head, like you it's making switch, sense. You're already switching it up. That's yeah. the thing, psychology. Like, I mean, um, and just being mentally aware. Yeah, you know making like, that man, mental decision. I'm, I'm big on philosophy. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm big on that. Like, you know what I'm saying? I do read a lot, you know what I mean? I can read more, you feel me? Yeah. But philosophy is just something that's just been big for the last couple of years, you know what I'm saying? So you think you... um. Like for some, a lot of people making decisions is like the hardest part, but you seem to make them like pretty fast. Like, are you sitting there like doing all the the homework and like studying up, or are you just like making the decision and then you're gonna figure yeah, it out? Yeah, I, I I do homework. I do find things out. I do study things. Right. But the best thing I, I one thing I do gotta start doing is just kind of like I I got a journal. I ain't cracked it open yet. You know okay, what I'm saying? I see what you're saying? I've been hearing about the journal, just writing that journal out. That's, yep. that, that just plays a lot of huge part in just you know saying past, present, and future. Yeah. Um. And then uh, other than that, just uh proper planning. I'm big on just planning things out, being ahead. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? Because then I'm so used to the fast life. I grew up in the fast life. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. Oh, so you're trying to I'm slow trying, it down a little yeah, bit. Yeah. I'm starting to switch it up. Like since my life changed. It's been changing with that, like right. not being used to just being on a fast pace with everything, like yeah. just kind of planning it out, knowing what's ahead, uh -huh. and and being okay with that. So okay, got you, man. Um, let's just close it out with. Well, I guess where do you think you're gonna be in a year? We're gonna do that one first, cause uh, in a year, man, I just I see more success. See. You know what I'm saying? Um, I definitely want to come back just to you know share what's happened in the year. Yeah. Uh, but you I just I just you, see um, a lot. You think you're going to like five and zero, six and zero in a year? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The 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 um contract, you know, got it scheduled where you know, it's four fights a year minimum. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Got you. So I'm gonna be busy, and it and then just with business, you know, I got other outlets that I plan on. You know, you got any goals in. you can talk about yet? For yeah, business, like for your real business. estate. Real estate is definitely a goal, like near future goal. Like okay. I should be, I should be having like my first door, or my first commercial property. Yeah. Or you know, apartment. You know, what I'm within saying? within the next year. Within within this year. Within this sure. year, okay. I know that for sure. Um, and um, yeah, that's that's probably it. Like, okay. Right now, that I know for sure. Um, but besides that, I just see uh, my career in boxing just you know, just paving through because i have a a phenomenal promoter he knows what yeah. he's doing he has a lot of resources and he has a lot of experience and you know um our relationship is is really you know clicking and yeah you know, so i just want to build that chemistry up a little bit more and just see where it takes me but okay got you other than that just traveling you know what i'm saying just doing your thing. And, and just yeah just living life for yep. real stand out the way man kind of uh, wrapped it up any better than that so I hope y'all take something today and get to work and get your first W. And then after you do that, help someone else that needs some help. What's up? For and, sure. And that's how we're going to grow. For sure. But man, I appreciate your time, yes, bro. Yes, sir. Follow me on Instagram at KJ no Mercy, um, And you'll find out all the information that you need from there. Uh, it's been a pleasure, man. man I appreciate it. Yes, sir. I appreciate y'all.